Karen Larma is a bank worker, mother of a 13-year-old girl, and for the last four years, a volunteer in the Estonian Defense League, a group of Estonian volunteers who receive military training in their spare time and whose aim is to support the Estonian army in an emergency. Here, they learn what is necessary to respond to a possible invasion. I have learned uh, that I'm capable of so much more than I thought before I joined the Estonian D Defense League. Uh, I know that uh, I can manage in the forest and uh, uh, I'm uh, really good uh, with the guns. Today, the volunteers have their first contact with what will be their new American-made assault rifle. Once they master its use, they will be able to have it in their homes, a measure aimed at providing a quick response to a possible enemy attack, something that, they tell us, has much to do with the tactics learned by observing the Ukrainian army from a distance. I think the right word to use here is preparation. So what we can see is that Ukrainians have been very well preparing themselves, and that, that is the key key concept in order to uh, react in a professional way. Estonia is a country of less than a million and a half people, and its armed forces are minuscule, barely 7,000 strong. In a hypothetical confrontation with Russia, its capabilities would be very limited. But after Russian forces attacked Ukraine, the number of volunteers increased to almost 30,000. The Defense League is, is a voluntary-based military organization, then the will of people is important. Training can be provided, but what we are based upon is the will. Many here see Estonia's NATO membership as a guarantee against a possible Russian attack. But even so, Estonian military sources tell us the only way to guarantee the security of Russia's neighbors is by defeating Moscow and ending its policy of aggression. You know, uh, it's very simple. About outcome of this war in Ukraine, Ukraine must win. Because otherwise, the Russians, they only will uh, have time to prepare for the next. And the next, they could be Moldova, could be uh, anybody. As the future of Europe is decided in Ukraine, Larima and 30,000 other Estonian volunteers are preparing on their weekends for a moment that everyone here hopes will never come. For Ricardo Marquina in Tallinn, Estonia, Marcus Harton, BOA News.